everyone! Welcome to another video. Today, me and Alina, we decided to put together an ultimate uh, Bali travel guide for a year of 2021 as we've been uh, living here for some time. Thank you very much for um, response on our previous video. We did video about Changu. So if you haven't seen that yet, uh, please go and check it out. Thanks again. Thank you. Uh, your support is just incredible. Today we will be talking about every single thing you need to know before coming to Bali, either for a holiday or long term. We will mention absolutely everything what came to our minds and also we will talk about everything we had to go through as we moved to Bali. Yeah, to make your life easier. Yes. But before we start, uh, we've got brand new update for you guys. As of today, 2nd of April, um, visa, e-visa applications are opened again. So happy days. <laughs> Please contact a local agent if you are interested in one of those visas. They will give you more information. So technically you can get to Bali right now. Okay, so let's start with the very first point and that's uh, arrival at the airport. After passing an immigration on arrivals, you might try to take out some money from a cash machine. Yeah. Get a taxi or yeah. get a, your own SIM card. Yeah, uh, we would recommend you not to do any of those at the airport if possible. Solution for that would be uh, make sure you schedule your driver before arrival. So schedule it with uh, accommodation you are staying at most of accommodations are offering this so you just need to text them and tell them look i need uh, somebody to wait for me at the airport or transfer me to your hotel they have their people trust yeah, me they're happy to help yeah and it's way more affordable taxi drivers waiting in front of the airport as everywhere else mm -hmm. are overpriced guys another thing is uh, sim cards mm, sim cards are very often at least three times more expensive at the airport than in the town or anywhere close to your accommodation. Yeah, so we would recommend you to wait until the next morning and purchase your SIM card in the town you are staying at. Yeah, that's very correct. Uh, so you don't, if you don't need it right now at the arrival, make sure you wait until next day and get it uh, at the local, uh, one of the local shops. Second topic we will talk about uh, are uh, SIM cards or mobile network providers. Uh, by our opinion, the best one is uh, Telcom Cell. That's, that's what we use. Yeah, that's what we use. And uh, it, it has got the greatest coverage, it yeah, has coverage got the great. best speed. It's not the most affordable, but at the same time, you get what you pay for. So, once again, Telcom Cell. In terms of prices, uh, Telcom Cell in particular, our SIM cards uh, cost uh, 100,000 100, yeah. Indonesian rupiahs and you get 25 giga of internet, unlimited calls and unlimited messages. So yeah. 100,000 is around 5 pounds. 7 dollars, yeah. Or 7 dollars, yeah. That's a brand new SIM card with uh, all this data. And then when you want to extend it, it's a little bit cheaper even. So it will yeah. cost like... 85,000 Indonesian rupiahs, which is yeah. four pounds, and you get the, the same top up every month. So you basically buy a SIM card, you have the data, and then in the end of the month or once a month, you top it up again at the same local store. Yeah, it's very affordable. Yeah. yeah. Next logical step you would probably do is to try to exchange your money or take money out of ATMs. Um, Bali is using uh, Indonesian rupiahs as a currency. Uh, 10,000 Indonesian rupiahs is 50p or 70 uh, pence, p, 70p <laughs> in dollars. Uh, so these are the currency rates. Uh, also, if you want to exchange money, you need to make sure you do it in a proper money exchange. Approved ones, yeah. Approved ones, how to spot them. They are mostly on the main roads. Uh, they are bigger, cleaner, make sure when you enter. They should have a certificate yeah. on the wall, definitely. If the money exchange does not look uh, okay, if it looks shady, it's in a shady street. Don't go there. Or in some, in some sh clothing store, shop yeah. or whatever, uh, it probably is shady, guys. So yeah. don't exchange money at the money exchanges which don't look okay. And always check the rates. 
Yes, always check the rates and also make sure you ask about the, if they have any commission fees because most of them should not have, at mm -hmm. least those uh, legit ones do not do any commissions. If they do, they are trying to take extra money with you, they are trying sometimes to scam you as well. However, we do not use yeah. money exchange uh, because we use a UK bank the called Best bank. <laughs> Starling Bank. Uh, shoot out to Starling ba Bank. By the way, this is not a uh, paid uh, promotion or anything. We are just very happy with that yeah. bank. It's online bank which does not apply any fees to our withdrawals from ATM uh, for uh, foreign payments or any, transitions any, any are, transfer yeah. fees. There is no fees at all, so that's amazing bank. If you have any option <coughs> like that to have a bank which does not have uh, fees, many online banks do that now. Uh, it's absolutely fine to withdraw money from uh, local ATMs. It's safe, yeah. Yeah, it's, and it's generally pretty safe. So that's what we do. We always withdraw money whenever we need to and uh, we never exchange them because it's gonna be always, from ATMs there's gonna be always better rates because those rates are Master MasterCard card. or Visa rates. Uh, which are the best you can get. Money exchange will never give you a better rate because they need to earn extra extra money, that's Percentage, how they yeah. work. <laughs> Depending on uh, how long are you coming to Bali for, either for a holiday or a longer term, you will probably stay in one of uh, those accommodations. First one will be a guest house. Or a homestay. Homestay. Yeah, resort or hotel. Correct, hotel. Shared villa. Shared bedroom or bedroom in a shared room, villa. Room in room, a villa, yeah. yeah, or your private villa. Or your private villa. Bedroom, one bedroom, two bedroom or any bedrooms you want, <laughs> any amount. Let's talk about prices. So currently the most affordable option is going to be a guest house. Yeah. Uh, prices per month, so let's talk about prices per month, long, long term. It would be around starting from 3 up to 6 million. That's correct, yeah. we're talking about guest house. So yeah. that's around 150 pounds up to 300 pounds for a very luxurious, very good looking guest house. For a go uh, good location. The most popular option by far is a two bedroom private villa. Um, you will get your own swimming pool, your own kitchen, two bedrooms very often and suit. And all the cleaning and maintenance, maintenance and basically everything within the price. Prices for two bedroom villas are anywhere between 10 to 15, I would say. 10 to 15 yeah. million, which is 500 pounds to 750 pounds per month. Yeah, and sometimes you even get your private cook. Yes, that's <laughs> when you go for a higher price generally, but yeah, it's affordable and it's very popular. There is plenty of choices, uh, yeah. a lot of selections. Now let's talk about how to book all of those. Uh, we do receive quite a lot of questions regarding uh, how to find accommodation in Bali. We mentioned that in the previous videos. This is what we usually yeah. do. So once again, get yourself a guest house, um, give yourself some time, join Facebook groups yeah, definitely. and ask there. It's uh, very often way more affordable than booking it through any of the platforms. It's very important to see the place yourself yeah. in person because often pictures are way better than reality yeah, is. Yeah, because they are taken when the villa was just built or refurbished yeah. and then after a period of time it obviously doesn't look the same anymore. Yeah, uh, and it's better to deal with the, directly with the owner or with the agent who is taking care of uh, the villa. So that's how, how to get, how to find a property. We always use Facebook yeah. groups, guys, because you can communicate freely there. There are people who can uh, give you their contacts and help you out or point at the people who are not, uh, not legit, yeah. let's say. Let's talk about transport now. <laughs> the fun part. The fun part. So by far, uh, the most popular transport option in Bali are scooters. Yeah, and there are like three main options. Three main uh, types of scooters yeah. you could rent in Bali. Uh, like first one is Scoopy. For the girls mainly. Mostly, yeah. yeah. Uh, then uh, Vario, uh, either 125 or 150. Mm. Uh, 
it, this is the most popular option, and I would Jay's say. Favorite. Uh, my favorite, personally, and we would suggest you to go for a Vario, <clears throat> sorry, 150, which is a bit more powerful mm -hmm. if, if you are a couple. Start with that option, and then if you want to upgrade, uh, third option will be uh, N Max. Yeah. Um, they are the most comfortable yeah. scooters, but they are a little bit uh, more bulky, they bigger large, ones. Yeah. Uh, perhaps a little bit uh, more difficult. Uh, to, to ride, so start with a more simple scooter, shake your skills and then probably upgrade to a better scooter. In terms of the prices... Yeah. So sco Scoopies start from 500 yeah. up to 700 I would say. Yeah, which is around 25 to 35 pounds per month. Yeah, yeah. Then the Vario is around 700 to sometimes 1 million, depends on the year of the scooter and the state is at, uh, yeah. so the newest version of Vario 150 yeah. will be around 900,000, 1 million max and then um, N-Max is anywhere between 1 million to 1.4 million, again yeah. depending on the year of the and scooter. Condition. Uh, we did not mention a petrol yet, uh, so you can purchase a petrol anywhere you go, anywhere, anywhere on the side of yeah. the road in uh, any of the local shops, mm -hmm. local vendors are selling them. Uh, so if you are driving on the road and you see these little shops selling the food or clothes and they have this stand yeah. uh, with the bottles uh, <laughs> filled up uh, with a green yeah. or uh, blue liquid. Bottles of different alcohols yeah. mainly. Yeah. Mostly bottle of uh, absolute. <laughs> absolute vodka yeah, filled up with uh, pet. So it's a petrol yeah. basically yeah. inside. However, we completely understand if you are not comfortable to ride a scooter yet, uh, you have an option. That option is called a uh, Gojek. Uh, it's basically uh, app similar to Uber. You can call a driver or you can call a scooter uh, taxi and they will get you from one side to another side for a very affordable price. Alina is using them, yeah, right? daily. I use them daily and yeah. service is really good and they are very fast. They usually arrive within a few minutes after you called the taxi or yeah. the scooter and it costs like around the Changu it costs around like 10k. Which per, is 50p. Yeah, it's one, one, ride. one way, right? And if you want to go a little more further, like to Seminyak. 20 minute it, drive. Yeah, it will cost you around 20, 25k. Which is one pound. So. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's very reliable, we personally yeah. love it. It's safe. <laughs> and safe. it's very safe and there is so many Gojek drivers, literally they are behind each yeah. corner. So whenever you call, they are with you within two minutes, no matter where you are. They will get you from A to B very quickly for a very affordable yeah. price. In fact, we calculated how much would that cost to use a Gojek on a daily basis for 30 days, for a month, or to rent a scooter and price is almost, Similar. Uh, almost yeah. the same. Yeah, yeah, very, very similar. Roads in Bali are very busy. Bali is notoriously known for how busy it is it's on the traffic, roads. Yeah. So we just wanted to say, be careful if you are riding a scooter, make sure you look. And wear your, your helmet. <laughs> yeah, wear your helmet and make sure you do have, this is the question I'm receiving very often. Do you need a, a driving license? Of course you do need a driving license. As everywhere else, if you want to drive or ride a vehicle, you need a driving license. Uh, we did not uh, see police often, or in fact, we haven't been stopped uh, by police ever, but I do have an international driving license. Make sure you do have it as well, and just be careful, just the common sense on the roads. Talking about Gojek, it is just a, one of the apps we would recommend you to have in your yeah. phone before coming to Bali and now we will talk about the rest of them. So uh, let's talk uh, about Gojek a little bit more in depth. This is definitely the app which is the most number common, one yeah. and the most common in uh, Bali or whole Indonesia. Yeah. You can use it for a transport. Also, you can order a food similar to Uber Eats. Yeah. Uh, so this is definitely number one, the easiest, very affordable and very popular yeah. um, app. Next one will be Google Maps. Guys, uh, I cannot, we cannot uh, highlight how Important many times is, yeah. we had to use. We basically use it non-stop. They have an option to download an offline map, so in case you don't yeah. have an internet, you can download specific uh, area and you can use it offline, which is a great option. Another app is uh, Translate. 
generally uh, Balinese people do speak English pretty well. They understand you. Yeah. They understand as well. Uh, but if you go outside of uh, busy areas, let's say to rural areas or anywhere north of Bali. Yeah, it would be handy to have a Google Translate. And if you want to translate, for example, menu which is written in a Bahasa or some signs, it will help you a lot. Yes, uh, with that being said, we would definitely recommend you to learn a few basics. Yeah. As anywhere else, guys, always try to learn at least how are you, hello, thank you, basic, 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 phrases, basic yeah. words. Yeah. Uh, it is very, it, it is sign of respect on yeah. one side, on the other side, um, locals will open up to you a little bit more. I don't know why it's Siri. <laughs> Locals will open up a little bit more to you. They will see you are trying to some communicate. Effort, yeah, yeah. Some effort. Uh, also, Translate has the, got, uh, the option to download the language and use it offline yeah. again. Uh, next, sorry, we've got phone here, so we've got our notes. Next one is definitely uh, WhatsApp. The most important, probably. The most yeah. important after Gojek. Uh, that's the only way how people communicate in Bali yeah. digital way. There are no emails. Don't try to send emails. No. Emails no. don't no. work here at no. all. Like we no. try to sell probably hundreds of emails to uh, hotels, companies, people. It doesn't matter. No. Nobody replies. No. Maybe less than 1% got back to yeah. us. Yeah. And also in terms of booking accommodation, Agoda is our choice to go. Number one. Yeah. We actually compare the prices of uh, Agoda and booking yeah. for the same property at the same date, for the same room. And Agoda always wins. They simply yeah. have, I don't know how they do it, but they. The best rates. The they best, have. yeah. yeah. Let's talk about very popular topic My now. My favorite. Alina's the most popular, uh, the Book. most favorite, <laughs> favorite, and that's food in Bali. Yeah. In uh, one, two words. It's incredible. Oh, it's amazing, yeah. Uh, we love Indonesian foods. We love Balinese food. Uh, it is a little bit spicy sometimes, but it's so fresh and there is so much yeah. uh, to, to choose from. You have uh, all the options from a very budget friendly to very expensive Western style food or even Asian style. Yeah, high end restaurants. High end restaurants. Yeah. Uh, the most popular budget-friendly options are local varungs, which is a local restaurant. Yeah, that's where we usually eat. Yeah, they're called uh, Nasin Champur. Yeah, and the principle is that they've got pre-cooked meals in a display. So you yeah. just come in, you pick a base, which usually is a rice or a noodles or potatoes or whatever. Yeah. And then you point and select what would you like to have on your plate. Yeah. Either it's a fish or a meat or vegetables, basically you create your own yeah. dish. We need to mention it's yeah. very often uh, vegetarian and vegan yeah. friendly as well. Yeah. Vegetables are always around 4,000 max to 7,000 Indonesian rupees yeah. per portion of vegetable. Meat is anywhere between 7 to 15,000. You should never pay per plate per person more than 30,000, which is yeah. around 150. Uh, if you pay any more, something is not right. Yeah. These are the places where locals go, and that's the best way to experience local cuisine. If you are concerned about uh, safety or hygiene in the uh, Varungs, we need to say we never ever had any issues. No, on any not even poisonings, once. nothing not like that. Not even once, no. Uh, mm -hmm. no, no issues with the stomach whatsoever. I don't know if we are just one off, but... Uh, we ate in so many different yeah, Varungs. We eat that, on a daily basis, yeah. twice a day, like literally very often never had any issues so you shouldn't have any issues as well many of you guys uh, will be coming to bali for a party with that uh, alcohol comes up, consumption comes <laughs> into this conversation and we wanted to say Alcohol in Bali is uh, expensive. It's pricey. It's very pricey. The reason yeah. is uh, import fees. So most of the alcohol uh, is imported here yeah. and they have to pay uh, very high import fees on alcohol. Uh, you do have a few local options. One of them is uh, liquor called Arak. We wanted to say 
<laughs> stay away. Many, uh, many uh, cocktails are mixed with Arak, arak. because it's cheaper alternative, but very often it's a homemade. Yeah. Hangovers from that are just out of this world. If, if you can, stay away from Arak made cocktails. Another local option is uh, the most popular beer on the island, it's called Bintang. Small beer costs uh, anywhere between 25,000 to 40,000 yeah, 40, 40, yeah. sometimes, uh, which is around 150 in average. Uh, it might seem like a affordable, and yes it is, but compared to the, price, the rest of the prices in, on the for island, food, for example, yeah, yeah. it's uh, pretty pricey and that's a local small beer. Yeah. Uh, liquors and wines are literally what wines? Right, see, wine is around starting from 80k Yeah, which is around glass. 4, yeah. four pounds. Yeah. It's never going to be 250 ml, it's oh, going to be 125 wine. it's going to be very small yeah. wine. And the liquor prices are anywhere between mm. 100 to 150,000 per Very shot high. easily. That yeah. is 5 to 750 per yeah. shot. Uh, cocktails yeah. are starting from 90, 100 up to 150 and Even 250 more, easily. More. Yeah, Depends so, where you are. Yeah, yeah. so it, it is pricey. Yeah. Uh, the best option is not to drink too often or not to drink at <laughs> all. Much, yeah. Depends. Uh, once we went to buy a tequila to the local store, by the way, store prices are very similar. Yeah, uh, don't we get it cheaper. To, yeah, mm -hmm. we went to buy a bottle of tequila and just the average regular one liter tequila costed uh, 1.4 million, which is around 80 pounds that, or 100 dollars. <laughs> uh, so we ended up not buying it because mm -hmm. we were like, it's ridiculous. No, like you can no. buy it so much for, for that money, it's not worth. <laughs> Okay, toiletries. Uh, hot topic as well. Hot topic as yeah. well. We received quite a lot of questions. Toiletries are widely available, yeah. but options are very limited, guys. Yeah. So you only have a few brands to choose from. Um, and in terms of girl stuff, I don't really know. It's quite challenging, yeah. So you can get what you are looking for, but it will be much more pricey or, as Jay said, much more limited options. So, for example, pack of tampons for the girls, like a small pack of 16, would cost you around 100k and more, which is like five pounds or seven dollars. Yeah. So it's here, but it's very expensive. So if you come here for a longer period of time, please stock up. Uh, I wanted to mention that for those who love perfumes, I will have to disappoint you. Uh, perfumes here are very rare. I literally had uh, massive issues on looking for. Uh, perfume we have to travel to Seminyak 25 minutes oh, to a massive time. shopping yeah. center to find uh, perfumes prices are the same as everywhere else in or the world higher. they, they yeah. hold the price or even higher yeah. because of the info import yeah. fees as well guys do not drink <laughs> no. tap water <laughs> no. in Bali <laughs> you might get something very well known in Bali called Bali Belly yeah. uh, because of the water it's not safe to drink it however it is safe generally safe to brush your teeth or wash your face to, uh, yeah, yeah wash your face but don't drink water from a tap mm -hmm. what we do we buy a uh, large bottles of uh, is this a gallon gallon yeah. no it's not a gallon it's actually 20 liters 20, yeah. uh, and they cost around uh, 30k per 20 liters yeah. which is 150 but um most of the villas or yeah. the hotels where you are staying, they will provide you with the drinking water. Yeah, so yeah. they have a water yeah. machines where you can choose hot, cold or yeah. just a regular yeah. uh, water. Most of the places provide the drinking water. In terms of laundry... Yeah, you have to get ready because most of the guest houses or villas does not have a washing machine. Yeah, it's not common at all. It's washing extra... machine is not common yeah. at all, we need to yeah. say. So you will have to use a laundry service, which uh, fortunately is almost everywhere yeah. and is very affordable, quick and very convenient. We are super happy with the, yeah, our own laundry service. Yeah. Usually you drop the laundry and it's ready for you the next day. Yeah, and uh, it's gonna be folded, it's gonna be ironed, it's gonna smell fresh. Uh, also, some places, some accommodations offer a laundry service where a person comes and picks up your laundry, they take it to the, to the laundry service, they wash it and do all the stuff with it and they bring it for a very little extra charge, but it's a very convenient option as well. Yeah. Beautiful 
tropical island and it has got uh, only two seasons uh, hot season or dry season and wet season it's hot all the time <laughs> however as alina yeah. mentioned uh, it's around 30 degrees all year round I'm very humid yeah so uh hot season lasts from anywhere between uh june until sometimes october yeah. the wet season starts in the uh, end of october november yeah. until probably april yeah. sometimes may uh, we wanted to mention on a wet season it's not raining all the time no, no, all no. day we thought so and we read many like uh, horrible stories oh yeah. it's, it's been raining non -stop. all day but no usually it rains either early in the morning or yeah at the night time yeah afternoon, yeah in terms of uh, what to bring with you, what to pack, we besides raincoats, uh, which you can purchase over here for a very, very good price, yeah. uh, just a few pairs of uh, shirts, uh, t-shirts, flip-flops. Like uh, light, lightweight clothing yeah. and preferably from natural materials. Yeah. Uh, besides that, just the one pair of trainers if you will go and explore or sometimes climb. Uh, you need to climb to some of the beaches in Bali. Just uh, get some comfortable shoes with you. Yeah, one or two pairs max of the <laughs> trainers, nothing else is needed. Don't do the same mistake. I brought half suitcase of different trainers and they are collecting dust yeah. there. Don't do that. Yeah. Um, also, don't forget to bring some sunscreen. It's very important. The yeah. prices over here are a little bit more expensive. Yeah. And uh, mosquito repellent. We prefer a cream over a spray. Sprays. It works well, yeah. Yeah, cream lasts even longer. Sprays don't really work for some reason. Yeah. Bali is only one of uh, about 17 to 18,000 islands uh, of Indonesia. So after you will explore all Bali, and trust me, Bali has oh. got absolutely everything from white sand beaches, black sand beaches, black sand beaches rainforests, jungles, volcanoes, yeah. waterfalls. Waterfalls, you have it all here, but once you explore, uh, all of it you might want to see uh, neighbor islands as well the most popular will be definitely Nusa Penida it's stunning yeah and it's about only 45 minutes a speedboat ride from a uh, eastern part of uh, Bali Sanur is yeah. the port uh, town or city where the boat goes from uh, so Nusa Penida is definitely number one please go and check out our video we filmed uh, from a Nusa Penida but our own personal a uh, favorite is definitely a Lombok. Lombok, which is uh, around two hours uh, boat ride from yeah, speed boat Bali. Ride. Yeah, speed boat. Yeah, or you can take a plane as well. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the option as well. Um, so North Lombok is literally covered in the palm trees. It's beautiful yeah. green. That's our favorite part. But if you want to go to a beaches of uh, Lombok, go south to Kuta area. Uh, amount of beaches is just incredible it's beautiful it's island. white sand beaches there yeah uh, we must not forget about three neighbor islands uh, Lombok small islands yeah, well-known Gilis Gili islands yeah. yeah the biggest one is Gili T which is a party quite island quite known yeah. for parties yeah and then uh, Gili Air and uh, Gili Min 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 yeah so definitely go and check out Lombok, it's yeah. our choice. Put it on your list. Yeah. Um, many of you probably are concerned about the safety. It's Southeast Asia, you may be thinking what's going on there, is it safe, is it not safe? Indonesia is uh, considered as one of the most happy nations. Yeah. Uh, they are just incredible people, so are Balinese as a part of Indonesia. Uh, they are one of the nicest, the most welcome and friendly people Kindest. you will ever yeah. meet. So there is no need to be concerned about safety, just no. common sense. Maybe there is sometimes small uh, pickpocketing somewhere in a, a busy touristy area. But, but that's, that's about it, yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. about it. Nothing else. We never felt like threatened or in a danger. No. In fact, no. we are very often just surprised how kind and how yeah. helpful people are, how smiley they're still way more positive yeah. than the most people we have ever met yeah. so safety is not a concern in the body. Once again we wanted to mention uh, the e-visa applications are now opened. Um, we are not visa agents uh, ourselves so we cannot really tell you what kind of uh, visa to apply for. Please contact a local uh, visa agent, they will explain you all the details and what are your best options but possibly you can get to Bali right now if you don't want to wait until <laughs> June and uh, July where President announced the plan to open uh, Bali for a general tourism. You can get it 
right now. So Ibiza is opened. If you wanted to support us, you can now buy us a coffee. We like as coffee. Well. We love coffee, in fact. We're gonna leave a link in the description in case you enjoy what we're doing and these videos are uh, helping you out somehow. That's one of the options how to support our channel as well. Besides that, thank you very much for uh, watching. Don't forget to click the like button. Don't forget to subscribe uh, for the new ones. And uh, we will see you in the next video. See you. See you.